Good afternoon guys, good evening and good morning. Greeting you according to your time zone. My name is Chris and you are watching ANC Candles and Car Air Freshness. Well, if you're new to my channel, this is where I teach you how to make car air fresheners. This is where we talk about car air freshener business. This is where we talk about um, fresheners. We talk about, sometimes we'll dive into candles and we'll talk about other things. Okay, um, but majorly we'll talk more about car air fresheners because that's what I'm focusing on um, right now with my business. Okay, so today I just want to um, show you guys something that somebody requested for some time, but I've been busy with other things that I had to put it, um, um, let me say, everything that I'm doing is it's planned so that has to go behind the um the i don't want to say back burner but it has to go you know in the queue or in the line so now that i've gotten to that checklist so i got to talk about it so i i created a template for um i'm, I'm going to put it up here for you guys to see it i created a template for your packaging for your car freshener and um, a lot of people have been buying them and a lot of people have been, you know, using them a lot. And um, they've been, they said they like it and, you know, they've been using it to create their own um, business. They've used their, their own car freshener package for their business, I, I should say. And um, so far, I've not had any complaints. So people like the templates. So if you haven't seen um the video or the template i'm going to put the template right there for you guys to see it and if you want to order that the link to the page to order it it's just six excuse me <clears throat> it's just six dollars if you want to order it so the link will be in the description for you to buy it okay um you can change the color you can change the name you can put the you can put your logo where it says logo you can you know put any description you want to put everything is editable okay you can edit it using powerpoint or any program that can edit powerpoint files okay all right so what somebody asked me to do is to show you know something like this that i have on my screen so this is your felt cardstock this is a felt cardstock that i have and um i measured it all right so i measured the dimension of this cardstock. If you look at the dimension, let me open that. If you look at the dimension, it is four by 2.7. Okay, so four inches um, in height and 2.7 in width. So that's what it is. So I have gone ahead to create this for people who want to use this template. Okay, and um, this is going to help you guys to be able to know how to put your images without having to um, um, guess. There is no guesswork. This has been measured. And this is the standard um, cardstock that is out there. This is the standard because I have one of that. The one I'm using for my, um, for my car freshener business, it's not the standard one. That one, I um, asked my manufacturer to design that one to, you know, make it a little bit shorter than this. Okay, so I have that one I have is just totally different. All right, so if you use, if I use that dimension to give you guys a template, you guys going to, it's, it's going to be wrong when you use it. So I'm using the regular everyday cast, um, card stock. Um, felt. I'm using that to create this template. Okay. So that's what you have here. So if you want this, you can go and download it. Okay. And you can have that. Um, let me show you how you can put your images on this. So if you have this and you've downloaded it, I'm using this color as kind of gray because if I use white, you will not see it. Okay. So instead, I'm using gray, but it's going to be white when you present it to your manufacturer or when you, you know, want to size it up or when you this is actually for people who want to find a manufacturer and send them the, the template and say hey this is what i wanted to create so this is what they're going to send to the manufacturer and the manufacturer will look at it and say okay this is what this person wants and if you don't want it in white you can change it so with this template you can click here 
and go to group if you're using PowerPoint. Just want to show you guys that and ungroup this. So now everything has been ungrouped, okay? So this has been ungrouped as well. This, this round opening has been ungrouped. Okay, so this has been ungrouped, so I can move this, all right? I can move that. Let me bring it back. Okay, so now with this, I can change the color if I want to, so I can go to shape fill. For me, I use I use black in my felt, so you can use whatever you want. So here, I can change that to black, all right? So now it's black, okay? So that's what I use. I use the black ones. If you guys have seen my, my car fresheners, they are black, and I use white um, images, all right? So if you want to change yours to black, you can. You can change yours as well to, you know, to white. But again, you might not see that much, okay? So that's how it's going to look like. But you can, again, go and give yourself a unique color. So some people, they might want to change theirs to purple or something. You know, you can give your car freshener stand out, you know, stand out among the crowd. Give it a different color, unique um, color, so people can know, you know, this color stands for you and stuff like that. But you can design it however you want to design it. Give it a navy blue as well if you want to. That looks really good. If you use a white um, image in this, that's going to be really good. Okay, so I'm just throwing out ideas for you guys. Some people can do pink as well if they want to. If you want to do pink, you can go to the more fill color. And you can see the list of colors that you can just, you know, drag this right there. Okay. And give it your own shade of pink. And you have the pink right there. Okay. So you can do that. And again, you know, like I said, it's up to you. But I am just going to go back to where it was. Okay. So I'll leave it right here. So this is where it was. So this is how you can change it. and you know, design it the way you want to design it before you send it to your manufacturer, okay? So again, you can just go here, highlight everything, and go to shape, um, shape format, or you go to group, and you can group it, okay? So now it's grouped back again. So now if I move it, everything is moving, okay? All right? If you guys slacking again okay, everything is moving here we go all right so now how do you put images on this you can put your image on this by you know going to um free website where you can have free images you don't want to use google images or images where there is copyright because you're going to be looking for trouble you're asking for trouble so you want to go to places where you can get like um public domain those um those websites and get free images whereby you don't have to give attributions. You don't have to, you know, um, pay for it. If you, you know, you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to ask for permission to use the image. These are free images. They are royalty free images or public domain images. They are free for everybody to use. And websites that can, there's a lot of websites there. If you can type in, you know, public domain images, you'll see a lot of them out there. And if you have your own images too, you can use your personal image. If you if you design images, if you have patterns, you can use patterns. There is someone on the group, in, in the group, in our Facebook group that has a beautiful pattern. And her pattern was so, uh, I'm telling you, it's so good. Um, it's really popping. Like um, her, her, her company name is So Be It. And it's, it's beautiful. Her pattern is amazing. So if you know how to do patterns or if you know a place where you can get patterns from on the internet that are royalty free, you can use those and you can put the images, okay? All right, so I have an image that, I, that I've saved. I've used this before in one of my videos, so I'm gonna use that again. So I'm gonna go to my download area and I'm gonna take this image of the lungs, okay? And I'm just gonna drag that. Let me try that again. I'm gonna drag that, I'm gonna paste it there, all right? Computer is slow, excuse me. All right, so now you can see this image is big. It's really big, right? It's way bigger than my, my cardstock. And that's okay. 
and that's okay, all right? The image is bigger than my car stock and that's fine. All right, so what I can do now, I can resize this image. So you can see, um, in the beginning, I told you that the, the dimension of this um, card stock is four by 2.7. Um, so for height, I'm going to make this 3.8 instead of four, okay? So I'm, I'm going to make this top 3.8. And I'm going to make the bottom, instead of 2.7, I'm going to make it there's something that happens there because I copy, I drag that twice. So I have two images. I'll take one. more. Okay. So the next one will be two points. I'll do 2.5 instead of 2.7. Okay. Click enter. So now you see I have two images. I'm just going to click on this one and take it out. All right. All right. So right here, you can just drag this. All right. And you can just center that. Okay. Let me enlarge and make this big a little bit. Okay, so this is where you, what you have here. All right, you can now decide to move this up and down if you want, or you can just click on this and hold your shift on your keyboard. I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? So I'm holding my shift on my keyboard and I'm clicking on the cardstock itself. All right, so now I'm going to go to where it says picture format, and I'm going to go to this alignment object, click on that, and I'm going to go to center, all right? And I'm going to go to middle, okay? All right, so now it's been centered and it's now in the middle. Now it's up to you, you can drag this wherever you want to. If you want to make something you know, different from other people. You can make something like that, maybe a little bit out of it. But you know what? Everybody will do what they want to do. It's up to you. But just put it the way you want to put it. You know, when you have that cross, you see, I don't know if you guys can see the red dotted line in like the sectional is telling you it's perfectly in the middle. So you can leave it there or you can drag it wherever you want. Okay. So that's how you can do this. After you're done, you can highlight everything okay and you can make it um you can group it so you can go to the group area and you can group it now everything has been grouped now you have a grouped image that you can send to your manufacturer okay so when they see this they know exactly what you want to do okay that's how you can send this to them. Uh, you guys can, from there, start talking about negotiation. You guys can start talking about how to send the files to them. You know, your, your file will be different from this whole thing because your file is the image, right? So you're going to send the files, the image files separately to them because now they already know what you want. They know the dimension of what you want and they know how it's supposed to look with the image in or on the, the card stock, okay? So they already know that. But now they will want to have the image itself. So you have to send that to them on a PDF form, okay? So now this is how you want to probably show it to them a front and a back end. So you're gonna to go to, after, after doing this, this is how it's gonna look at the end. So it's gonna probably look something like this, okay? All right, so you can call this a front, you can call this the back so they can see how it looks. Okay. All right. So what else am I, should I tell you guys? Okay, let me show you how to save this. Um, you can go to file here. Right, go to file here. And you go to, okay. Sorry about that. So go to, <laughs> this is plain trick on me. All right. All right. <laughs> wow. All right, so you go to save as. Now you can save it and go to browse. And then you can give it a name, save it either on desktop downloads documents whatever i want to save it as and then you click on save okay i'm not going to do that because i already have this in my 
computer. All right. So when you're done with that, you're done. Okay. So now you have that image. You have this, you know, this is how you can use to present to people. You can even use this on your website, you know, as a as a mock-up, you know, and just, you know, use that as your selling point if you want to. So that's what I have for you guys today. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and help me grow the channel. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, you can join the Facebook group by clicking on the link in the description and that will take you to the group and request to join. And as soon as I see your request, I will approve it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.